have the Taldarim accepted the truth of Amon's betrayal? Some have. Others dare not question my commands. None wish to declare Rakshir upon you. Let them. No one can stand in the way of my vengeance. This grows tiring. We have done what we came to do. Set course for ire. And let us bring this war to Amon. Do not dare give me orders, Alarak. We will return to Ire only when I believe the time is right. Let's hope that time comes soon. Artanis, you should know my fear of the Taldarim is not of the now, but what becomes of them if Amon is defeated. You fear they will never integrate with our society. They share our blood, but they are not like us. You know in your heart that may never change. It is true. A great battle may loom on the horizon ahead of us, but it's a risk we must take. It is a great risk. The dawn of a unified Protoss requires much. Like the threads of a cloth, we must come together and be stronger because of it. To think what we become with their culture influencing us. Changing us. Yes. We will be changed. And perhaps that is what you fear more than battle. The path ahead is uncharted, Matriarch. Amon's presence within the Kala grows stronger. He is becoming harder to resist. You risk much for this, Rohana. He believes all suffering, all conflict, results from the Zelnaga's infinite cycle. That it must end. Yes, he has made this clear. But you see only the surface. Underneath, a silent hatred roils within him. A prideful resentment that would see all worlds burn. The hybrid are the true face of Amon. He wishes not only for the Zelnaga's creations to be set aside, but for them to suffer. Alarak has brought his ascendants into our fold. They are fierce, but strong. Vengeance for the betrayed. de Templari. Do not think what has happened here will spare Alarak from my watchful eye. I did not expect it to. If he dares to betray us or takes any action against you, I promise his blood will coat these corridors. Good. That is what I am counting on. The Templar and the Taldarim have joined forces. Unbelievable. Even these results require further testing. The Taldarim and Alarak have joined our fight, but we cannot strike against Ire without an army. Phoenix and I believe that we can awaken the ancient purifiers and call upon their power. They may have been a forbidden weapon, but I have seen their potential in Phoenix and know that this time, they will not fail us. Mobius. 
Genius Core is overseeing Amon's hybrid production lab. I will not let this continue. We will go to Revenscar and destroy the station before Amon can create more of these abominations. I have made a decision many of you will not agree with. During my time with Phoenix, I have seen that the Purifier program, under the right guidance, may be reborn. History has shown the Purifiers cannot be controlled, Artanis. They do not have to be. These personalities, like I, will have free will. We do not have enough Purifier matrices to create more like Phoenix. You cannot possibly be considering what I think you are. The original purifiers are housed in orbit above the forest world of Endion, sealed within their warship, Cybros. I have seen through Phoenix that these warriors may be valuable to us. Perhaps the Conclave misunderstood them, treating them as simple robots and not proud Templar. It tried to control them. And they rebelled, attacking their creators. Would you not rebel against a slave master? I have heard your counsel, and I have chosen to go to Endion. We leave at once! Fire stasis grid is still intact. We'll have to destabilize it from the generator below. I'm detecting a massive Zerg infestation on the surface. They can't be Kerrigan's. Amon's brood. This will not be easy. Efficiency of the Firstborn leaves much to be desired. We must bolster our forces. Our scouts are reporting the Dominion is attempting to... What you plan to do is awaken monsters, Artemis. They slaughtered every Templar on the base of Lentinum. They rose against their masters. Our people never treated them as Templar. Because they are robots created to do the bidding of the Conclave. Is this what you think of Phoenix? A robot whose only purpose is to do your bidding? He certainly defies expectations. He is... more. Perhaps the original Purifier robots will be too. If nothing else, think of their benefit to the war effort. That is, if they choose to join us. I believe in Phoenix. I am willing to take the risk. The Zerg posed quite a problem. Disrupting the stasis grid was never going to be easy. It certainly will be less so with Amon's brood attacking us. We will hold them off long enough for your work, Karax. The scientists sealed away Cybros with a device called the Megalith. It is the key to disabling the station's stasis lock. Once the grid is down, we have to act swiftly and bring Cybros online or flee orbit. The might of the brood below is too great. Leave the defense to me. I know this will work, Hierarch. I know I can guide the purifiers through the darkness that lies ahead. Help them accept what they are. I can convince them that they will not be treated as servants again. Then it appears as if you have found purpose, brother. Since awakening, I have been confused, directionless, uncertain of what I am, how I came to be. Now, things are clear once more. Fate has laid out a purpose only I can accomplish. It is exhilarating. Yes, you embark upon a task that even Phoenix could not achieve.
Yet he would attempt it if he could. I have learned much from Phoenix's memories, and through them, I have come to know myself. I am Phoenix, but not. I am my own entity, and I take pride in this. The shield emitters on India must be disabled if we are to reactivate Cyros. The time to begin is now, Hierarch. Cyros, the vault of the purifiers. It is fortunate that Avon's brood has been unable to penetrate its stasis grid. I now have access to Endion's records. Hmm. The stasis grid is sealed by complicated locking mechanisms. They can only be destabilized by a certain device. The Megalith. I'll begin recovering it now, so it may work on the locks. It will need protection. These forests already crawl with Zerg abominations. Then we shall clear them out. If I may, Hierarch, this facility once developed powerful weapons for the Empire. Ah, I have heard tale of the mighty Colossi, steam cliffs, besieging enemies from afar. Let us see how they fare against the Zerg. Zerg are coming from that cave. If we fire on the rock formation, it will seal the opening. Secure. Warp coordinates for our nexus point are locked. Karax, activate the megalith. Authorization in progress. The megalith should be ready shortly, Hierarch. We will monitor its status and alert you when it is online. The megalith systems will take a few moments to activate. It will be ready to move out soon. In the meantime, I've upgraded our robotics facilities to construct Colossi. You can warp them in whenever you wish, Hierarch. Let's go. 
megalith should be finishing up shortly. We should ensure that we have enough forces to defend it. Ula Sadar. The Megalith is online. We must ensure it reaches the stasis locks safely. Not enough minerals. You have not enough minerals. <laughs> The Megalith has reached the first stasis lock. It will be safe below the surface as it does its work. Nexus point. Your warriors have engaged. The, the megalith is almost done with this lock. I would advise you to make preparations for its next move. Stasis lock has been disabled. The megalith is relocating to the next one. safely at the second stasis lock. It shall be brought down shortly. Interesting. I believe this facility used power cores of incredible size to provide energy for experiments. They should be hidden somewhere within these hills. If our warriors can destroy them, we can claim the solarite components within. Megalith's work is nearly complete. It will move again soon. The canyon grows narrow ahead. Crawlers, they're rooting on the ridge. Brace for incoming fire. <laughs> Stasis lock disabled, and the grid is now at 60%. The megalith is en route to the third lock now.
battle. First power core has been secured. Warping it aboard now. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Well done, warriors. The megalith is disabling the third lock. Upgrade complete. number of Zerg bioforms in the cave network ahead. We can use the terrain to our advantage. Topple the rock formations near the entrance and seal the Zerg within the caves. We embrace the glory! has been disabled, and the Megalith is on the move. My readout shows Cybros beginning to awaken from stasis. Only two remain, Hierarch. number of Zerg have been detected in the caves ahead. Exercise caution. Both power cores have been obtained. I'll begin working on them immediately. Thank <laughs> you. 
authorized. The Megalith is now disabling the fourth lock. Your warriors have engaged. <laughs> Lock destabilization is nearly finished. The megalith will disembark soon. between the Megalith and the last stasis lock. Our only option is to fight through it. The lock is down and the Megalith is traveling. Stasis grid at 20%. Wait. I'm detecting activity in the Zerg hive nearby. They're reinforcing the last lock. Lock is destabilizing and the grid is down. We've done it! Cybros is free from stasis. We call our forces from Endion's surface. We take this battle to Cybros. A new faction has joined our forces in the War Council.